Hey everybody, in this video I want to go over customizing and creating a design for your Rebel Mouse site. So you can see on the screen this is the basic layout that comes with your Rebel Mouse site and there are a couple of a couple of other options um, but nothing nothing great. So um, Rebel Mouse are kind enough to allow you to customize your background so you end up with uh, you know you can have a custom background image and um, you can customize the top bar here which is the header with an image and these colors and you know make it um, stand out from the rest so you know for for business branding and that type of thing it's um, a pretty awesome feature that they've allowed us to go in and make these changes now I'm not a graphic designer so this might look a little weird uh, but um, I just wanted to illustrate the kind of options that you have you can see this light blue bar at the bottom of every post you'll probably want to change that because it's white writing so it doesn't really stand out that much so we probably want to make this color a little bit darker and um, I'll come to that a little bit later to do this it's not that daunting don't worry about it too much all you need to do is log into your site click on dashboard and then click on design and you see these are the uh, the options that they do give us um, but they do give us an option to add you know create a, your own custom theme so to do that click on this plus sign here and that brings up some code and this is the code that you are going to change to get um, a custom image background image in there it's pretty easy so don't worry too much like I said before this is the code here and I will provide that to you in a text file that you can download. All you need to do is come back to your CSS code over here and where it says body at the top, just simply paste that code into your bottom line, into the bottom there. And then um, I'm pulling an image from goodwallpapers.com. You can pull your background image from anywhere to show you what it looks like that's what the background image looks like if you go over to good wallpapers I'm not affiliated with them in any way uh, just I like some of their their backgrounds you, you can uh, come over here and look for any type of background that you want that you think is cool some of it's pretty risque but um, let's find something that's let's just call it football so if you had a football a Rebel Mouse football site for instance and uh, Zidane, you're a fan of Zidane you know, perhaps you could take the wallpaper from there get the original size and then just um, view the image info and copy that link by doing a control C on your keyboard or you could save it to your website as well and just pull it in from there you probably want to do that anyway but we'll just come in here and we'll just paste that link in here all right and then we save we'll name it something um, Zidane custom background for instance Hit OK. The nice thing about Rebel Mouse is they'll actually check the CSS code for errors. And if there is an error, a message box will pop up. OK. Oh, let me show you that actually. Say I had a space in there and I click Save. The CSS you entered didn't pass through our validator. So they validate the CSS. And now the nice thing about it too is they offer a service where if you are having issues, you can email your CSS code to them and they'll take a look at it for you so these guys have uh, pretty much thought about everything so anyway let's take that space out click save and no errors it says changes saved up at the top and now when we return to our front page we now have Zidane as our background image yes it's not fully optimized for the ribbon mouse site it's cut off and it's repeating over here but um, you get the idea 
So let's go and grab our original code again. Come back to dashboard. Go to design. And you'll see it's automatically, uh, it's, um, they'll probably make this a little bit easier to, to navigate through. You'll see that whatever uh, template or theme you use, it automatically puts a green square around it. So just make sure that you have the right one selected. When you do click add, it does give you a, a complete base template that you can configure. So let's go and put our original back in here. And I'll just show something random. Obviously, it's probably not relevant. CSS you entered didn't pass. So let's have a look. What do we do? Background URL. That's a problem there. Got it in twice. So I'll just take that part out. Up to there. Okay. Right. background image helps if I copy and paste properly but you can see that um, if you do have any errors that it does um, help you by fixing it up for you so I've obviously got an error I'm obviously not copying and pasting this correctly let me just grab grab it properly let me just completely take this line out there's the problem there it's got two repeats at the end let's save it changes saved and hit front page here's my background image nice in the background it's completely it's configured properly um, and then uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to creating a custom background in future videos we'll go over customizing the header and that's also pretty easy to do but I just wanted to show you that using CSS, you can really spice up your RebelMouse site. So I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.